Chapter 10 The Long Journey to Freedom The Nautilus was many miles from land. Ned, the professor, and Conceal thought home seemed such a distance to them, but they did not give up their hope of escape. The professor met the captain on deck. Professor, you have seen the bottom of the ocean in daylight. How would you like to see it at midnight? asked the captain. I would enjoy seeing it, sir, was the professor's reply. Within minutes, the professor and the captain were dressed in their diving suits. They were walking on the ocean floor 1,000 feet beneath the Atlantic. It was now near midnight. The water was calm and black. Captain Nemo pointed to a reddish glow about two miles away. The two men walked towards the glow. The ground started to rise and became rocky under their feet. It seemed to the professor that they were following a man-made road. As they walked on, the professor realized they were climbing a mountain. The reddish glow lit up the area as they grew closer. They saw another mountain. Lava was running down the mountain. It was a volcano. They could see what was left of a town at the bottom of the mountain. It was buried under. The professor wanted to ask the captain about it but they could not talk under the water. The captain could see how curious the professor was. He picked up a stone and went over to a large black rock and wrote one word on it, Atlantis. The professor now realized what had happened. This was the lost continent of Atlantis. At one time, its land stretched from America to Africa. People believed that a giant earthquake struck the land and it sank to the bottom of the sea. The professor now knew it was not an earthquake that sank Atlantis. A volcano had caused, was the cause of it being lost under the sea. Some people thought Atlantis was just a legend. The professor could not believe he was standing here seeing the lost continent. His head was full of thoughts as he and the captain headed back to the Nautilus. Back on the ship, the professor spent weeks writing notes about Atlantis. Time flew by. Ned rushed into the professor's cabin one day and shouted to him, We are headed south to Antarctica and the South Pole. At the South Pole, they came upon another adventure with icy waters and whales. There, Captain Nemo put up a black flag with an N on it. He spoke loudly for all to hear. Today, March 21st, 1868, I, Captain Nemo, have reached the South Pole. I now claim it as mine. After a few more adventures, the professor and Ned were no longer comfortable being on the Nautilus. They realized they could no longer stay on the ship. They wanted to go home. The professor decided he would ask Captain Nemo for their freedom. The captain took a fit of rage when the professor asked, You will never leave my ship, sir. Now get out of here. The professor told Ned what happened. They both knew they must get off the ship right away. They were only a few miles off the coast of New York. They had great hopes of making their escape when something terrible happened. The Nautilus was met by a hurricane. It sent the ship far out into the Atlantic. How would they claim their freedom now? Out in the ocean, the Nautilus was being fired at by a large ship. They had become a target for another ship. Suddenly, the professor realized what was happening. They were being fired at because of all the damage the Nautilus had done to ships around the world. This was as bad as being in the middle of the hurricane, thought the professor. The professor watched the ship become a target for the Nautilus. The ship was hit. It was now on its way down to the bottom of the sea. Captain Nemo was in a rage. He shouted loudly, Ships have destroyed my life. They have attacked me. They killed my wife, my children, my father and my mother. I lost my country. I have lost everything I have ever loved. I will attack any ship that comes near me. The professor listened and wondered. The captain may have had his reasons to be angry, but they were not reasons enough for him to take the lives of other people. Ned and the professor planned their escape right away. They headed for the small boat. They lowered the boat down into the water. Freedom was near, or so they thought. Something happened. 
the Nautilus and the small boat carrying Ned, the professor, and Conceal were caught up in the middle of a whirlpool. This is a sailor's nightmare. To be caught up in one can mean sudden death. It takes ships to the bottom of the sea. The professor blacked out. The next thing he knew, he, Ned, and Conceal were in a fisherman's cabin off the coast of Norway. He did not know what happened. A miracle, maybe? Or an act of God? The professor had no answers. This was the end of a voyage which took them 20,000 leagues under the sea. What happened to the Nautilus? Was Captain Nemo still alive? The professor had no answers to these questions. Is Captain Nemo still alive and traveling under the ocean? What do you think?